My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful cherry kitchen utensils using this cool new tool, the Shaper Origin. Over a year ago, me and the rest of the guys of SoCal Woodshop got together to order the Shaper Origin from their first production batch, and after waiting for what seemed like forever for it to arrive, it finally showed up a few months ago. Needless to say, we've been super excited to test this tool out, so we all got together and put it to the test and learned a little bit about it from Kylie, one of the members of the Shaper team I'd met several years ago. This tool is a handheld router that acts like a CNC machine, with a built-in computer that lays out the shape for you to follow on the screen and auto-corrects its position as it goes, making sure you always have the exact cut that you're going for. It's a seriously impressive tool, and so I thought I'd take it one step further and actually use it to build a project. You're really only limited by your imagination with this tool, but for my first project with it, I decided to test it out with one of the existing project files available from the Shaper website. I downloaded the file for these kitchen utensils to my creator hub, and it automatically synced to the tool via Wi-Fi, so all I had to do was load it up. But first, I needed to prep some material to cut the shapes from. I had a good sized piece of eight quarter cherry that I decided to use, so I took it to the bandsaw and resawed it in half. Next, I planed it down slightly so both pieces were uniform thickness. From there, I laid the two pieces together and clamped them to my workbench. In order to reference the workpiece and the shape that you're cutting, the machine uses a camera to read this domino looking tape that you lay out around the work surface. How much tape and at what spacing depends on the size of the project that you're working on. Since this is a smaller project, I needed to add the tape every few inches so the tool has plenty to reference. Once laid out, I could move the tool around to scan my work area and place the file image on the work surface to be cut out. Next, it was time to make sure the right bit was installed in the router. In addition to the design file, the Shaper website also has detailed instructions of every step of cutting out the shapes, which you can follow along with. Once I ran through the prompts on the machine to get started, I was ready to cut. It's literally as easy as following the lines on the screen to cut out the shapes. Now, one issue I had while cutting out the shapes is that once I cut through much of the tape, the machine started to lose its orientation. So I had to add another surrounding piece and some additional tape and then rescan the work area. It didn't lose where my file was placed, so it didn't end up affecting anything. And had I paid a little closer attention to the instructions on the website, I probably could have avoided this entirely. So I'd actually recommend that you try and place the tape around the work piece you're working on rather than on the cut area itself to avoid this. I also broke from the instructions a little bit and decided to make my utensils a little thicker than what's listed in the instructions. And rather than cutting all the way through the cherry to release them, I thought I could release them by resawing them again on the bandsaw, which ended up working out great. Once I had them cut out, all that was left to do was finish them up. I did a little shaping for the beveled edges on my benchtop sander and did some additional shaping with the oscillating sander. I also added a round over for the larger implements at the router table before final sanding them by hand. To finish the utensils, I applied a coat of our SoCal Woodshop board wax, which really brought out the color and the grain in the cherry. The guys of SoCal Woodshop and I make each batch of this wax by hand, and it's 100% food safe, so it's perfect for kitchen projects like this, cutting boards, and butcher blocks. If you're interested in testing it out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it. I think my favorite piece of the set is this tiny little spread knife. I don't really know why I like it so much, I just think it's a cool little wooden knife that I haven't really seen before. And here are the finished cherry kitchen utensils. I'm really happy with the way these came out. I've never made a set like this before, and as a first project with the Shaper, I couldn't be happier with the results. This tool is definitely something that has a ton of possibilities, so I'm looking forward to seeing what I can come up with in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and getting a look at what the Shaper is capable of. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know what you would use the Shaper for. And as always, you can find out more information about this project or any of my other projects on my website at MrFixItDIY.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.